the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, as often as possible hailed as the substitute to the Hubble Space Telescope, has changed how we may decipher the universe. Since its introduction, the telescope has given a remarkable viewpoint on the universe, uncovering high-level experiences and revealing neighborhood peculiarities once thought incomprehensible by humanity. The JWST's best-in-class upgrades have allowed specialists to investigate the farthest reaches of space, researching systems, stars, and planetary frameworks formed billions of years ago. This union jumps into the different parts of the JWST, from its mechanical wonders to its striking disclosures, and takes a gander at how it has reshaped how we might interpret the universe. To appreciate the importance of the JWST, understanding its ancestor, the Hubble Space Telescope, is fundamental. Launched in 1990, Hubble gave astronomers the first clear pictures of distant cosmic frameworks, nebulae, and stars freed from the clouding effects of Earth's atmosphere. Hubble's contributions to science are massive, from determining the speed of the universe's extension to observing the impact of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 with Jupiter. Its deep field pictures, capturing light from universes billions of light years away, have given us a brief look into the early universe. Anyway, in spite of its victories, Hubble had limitations. Its primary mirror's 2.4-meter measurement limited its light-collecting ability, and its instruments were designed for ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared parts of the spectrum. As space specialists extended the limits of our insight, it became clear that another telescope was required, one capable of seeing in the infrared range where it could peer through immense dust clouds and observe the universe's earliest systems. The thought for the James Webb Space Telescope began to come to fruition in the mid-1990s, even before Hubble had reached its maximum potential. Named after James E. Webb, NASA's administrator during the Apollo program, the JWST was declared as the next great observatory, a telescope that would look further back in time than Hubble, catching the light from the first stars and systems formed after the Big Bang. The JWST's design presented huge engineering challenges. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth at an altitude of around 570 kilometers, the JWST would be placed at the second Lagrange point, L2, around 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This area offers a steady environment with minimal interference from Earth's heat and light. However, it also means the telescope cannot be fixed or adjusted by astronauts. To observe faint, distant objects, the JWST required a much larger mirror than Hubble's. The arrangement was a segmented mirror made of 18 hexagonal beryllium pieces coated with gold, giving the telescope a total width of 6.5 meters. This mirror had to be folded to fit inside the Ariane 5 rocket that would launch it. Moreover, it would only unfurl once the telescope reached its destination. The JWST also required a sunshield to block heat and light from the sun, earth, and moon, keeping the telescope's instruments at their working temperature of just a few degrees above absolute zero. The sunshield is the size of a tennis court and is made of five layers of a special material called captain, which can endure extreme temperatures. After long years of planning, delays, and budget overruns, the JWST was finally launched on December 25, 2021. The launch was a groundbreaking event watched by analysts and space fans worldwide. The Ariane 5 rocket carried the telescope into space, and over the next 30 days, the JWST embarked on a complex, carefully organized series of maneuvers. The sunshield was the first critical part to unfurl, an action involving many instruments and thousands of parts working together. Any failure could have imperiled the mission. Once the sunshield was successfully deployed, the mirror segments began to unfold and adjust themselves. This process took months, as each segment had to be positioned with nanometer precision. By mid-2022, the JWST had completed its deployment and calibration, and its instruments were ready to start gathering data. The first images released to the public were truly remarkable. The telescope's ability to observe in the infrared revealed the universe in a new light, with incredible clarity and detail. 
One of the primary objectives of the JWST is to observe the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang billions of years ago. These galaxies are so distant that their light has been stretched into the infrared range due to the expansion of the universe, a phenomenon known as redshift. Hubble could observe these ancient objects, but the JWST's infrared capabilities allowed it to see them in much greater detail. In its first year of operation, the JWST made several major discoveries. One of the most significant was the detection of galaxies that existed a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies appeared larger and more developed than previously thought, challenging existing theories of galaxy formation and evolution. Researchers had long believed that the first galaxies were small and developed slowly over time by merging with other galaxies. However, the JWST's observations suggest that some galaxies formed much more rapidly and became large sooner than expected. This discovery has led cosmologists to re-examine their models of how galaxies form and evolve. The JWST also captured images of enormous structures that had never been seen before. For example, the telescope observed the intricate details of the cosmic web, a vast network of fibers that connects galaxies across the universe. These fibers are made of dark matter and gas, and form the scaffolding on which galaxies are built. The JWST's observations of the cosmic web have provided new insights into the large-scale structure of the universe and the role of dark matter in shaping it. The JWST has also transformed how we understand star formation and stellar evolution. Stars form in dense clouds of gas and dust that block visible light. However, infrared light can penetrate these clouds, allowing the JWST to observe the process of star formation in remarkable detail. One of the telescope's most important targets was the Orion Cloud, a stellar nursery located about 1,344 light-years from Earth. The JWST images revealed several young stars, some still embedded in their birth clouds. These observations have provided new insights into how stars form and evolve, as well as the processes that lead to the formation of planetary systems. The JWST has also observed the final stages of stellar evolution, capturing stunning images of dying stars and the clouds they create. These observations have provided valuable insights into the processes that govern the end of a star's life including the formation of white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. Perhaps one of the most exciting aspects of the JWST mission is its ability to study exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. The telescope's instruments can analyze the atmospheres of these distant worlds, searching for signs of habitability and potentially life. In its first year of operation, the JWST made several key discoveries related to exoplanets. One of the most striking was the discovery of LHS 475b, an exoplanet located about 41 light-years from Earth. This planet is roughly the same size as Earth and orbits its star in just two days. The JWST's observations revealed that LHS 475b has a thick atmosphere, possibly made of water vapor, carbon dioxide, or methane. The JWST has also observed other exoplanets with varying atmospheres. Some of these planets have thick, cloudy atmospheres rich in methane and other hydrocarbons, while others have clear skies dominated by hydrogen and helium. These observations have provided important data on the diversity of planetary systems and the conditions that might support life. One of the most significant questions in cosmology is whether life exists elsewhere in the universe. While the JWST cannot directly detect life, it can look for biosignatures, chemical markers that may indicate the presence of life. For example, the detection of oxygen or methane in an exoplanet's atmosphere could suggest the presence of biological processes. The JWST's ability to study exoplanets has opened a new era in the search for life beyond Earth. As the telescope continues to observe more planets, it will provide crucial data that could help answer the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? In addition to its investigations of distant galaxies and exoplanets, 
The JWST has captured images of some of the most beautiful and mysterious objects in the universe. One of the most striking is the Tarantula Nebula, a massive star-forming region located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. The JWST images of this region reveal intricate filaments of gas, glowing clusters of young stars, and the remnants of supernova explosions. These observations have provided new insights into the processes that drive star formation and the life cycles of massive stars. The JWST has also captured stunning images of nebulae, such as the Eagle Nebula and the Ring Nebula, revealing details that were previously hidden from view. These images have not only captivated the public's imagination, but have also provided valuable data for cosmologists studying the birth and death of stars. While the JWST has made tremendous strides in how we understand the universe, its journey has not been without challenges and controversy. The telescope's development was plagued by delays and cost overruns, with a final price tag approaching nearly $10 billion, substantially higher than the initial estimate. These issues spark debates among scientists and policymakers about the project's feasibility and value. Some argued that the resources designated for the JWST might have been better spent on other scientific endeavors, while others contended that the telescope's potential for groundbreaking discoveries justified the cost. The James Webb Space Telescope's mission is not only a testament to the advances of modern science and engineering, but also a reflection of humanity's inherent desire to explore the unknown. Through the JWST, we are peering into the deepest corners of the universe, uncovering its earliest secrets, and advancing our search for life beyond our planet. As the telescope continues to send back data, it promises to reshape how we understand the universe in profound ways. In the years to come, the JWST will undoubtedly inspire new generations of scientists, engineers, and visionaries to look to the stars and wonder what lies beyond. As we look forward, the future of the James Webb Space Telescope holds great promise. The data that the JWST continues to send back will shape research for decades, allowing scientists to explore the mysteries of the early universe, the formation of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems, and the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. The telescope's ability to observe the faintest, most distant objects in the universe with unrivaled clarity opens up new possibilities for understanding the fundamental forces that have shaped our universe. One of the long-term goals of the JWST is to shed light on the nature of dark matter and dark energy, two of the most mysterious components of the universe. While they make up the majority of the universe's mass and energy, dark matter and dark energy remain largely unexplained. The JWST's observations of galaxy formation and evolution, as well as its deep field surveys, will help provide clues about the role that dark matter plays in the structure of the universe. Specifically, the way galaxies form and interact with each other can offer insights into the nature of dark matter and how it influences the universe's evolution. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope's extraordinary ability to detect and analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets will allow scientists to refine their search for planets that might harbor life. By studying the chemical composition of distant exoplanet atmospheres, Researchers can identify key biosignature molecules that are associated with biological activity. This data could guide the search for habitable planets, bringing us closer to answering the crucial question, is there life elsewhere in the universe? While the JWST primarily focuses on infrared observations, it complements and enhances the work of other observatories, such as the Hubble Space Telescope and the forthcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. Data from these telescopes will be integrated, providing a multi-frequency view of the universe and allowing scientists to approach problems from different perspectives. For example, Hubble's ability to observe ultraviolet and visible wavelengths, combined with the JWST's infrared observations, offers a more comprehensive understanding of cosmic phenomena.